So we'll be starting with our first lecture, Dr. Vivek Gaur, sir, organizing chairperson Soeli Jaipur 2019, to give a short lecture and share his knowledge on rehabilitation of resection cases. Dr. Vivek Gaur, sir. So again, good evening, everyone. Now, as we proceed, actually, for the last section of the inauguration ceremony, but really, I'm, I apologize to. Uh, I couldn't ever. I didn't. I just forget to mention my respected Daswani sir and ma'am from Kota Dental College, from Daswani Dental College, mm. because they are the main person who have believed in us, and we started operating in his college, in their college, and we have given a massive result for them. It all started Daswani ma'am and sir when, uh, like, uh, initially. Uh, when we approached to you and we started the case, so ma'am was saying, uh, we be able to, uh, it's very difficult to get the patient, okay, we will try. And now actually what is happening, we are running away because always some 50 or 60 patients are waiting there on the lineup actually. Yeah? This all started as Dr. Daswani sir and ma'am has faith on us actually and we started the, uh, we introduced in the right hand the corticobasal implantology. Hmm. And of course, actually, I am nobody in front to present the cases of my very good friend, my best friend, Dr. Sankal Mittal, sir. He is an amazing, amazing surgeon. When we talk, actually, that come on, we are going to present the cases, that cases are not possible by the conventional implant lawyers. So I just smile, actually. I say, no, don't say like that, okay? Huh? Because I believe a person, and he is Dr. Sankal Mittal, sir. He can do just impossible, he just do anything impossible and he is really, really amazing surgeon. Sankar Mittal sir, I think, he, he must be busy, he must have went actually to operate another case here. So, hmm. so like uh, we in our, among ourselves, we are having a uh, renowned Onco surgeon sir is also sitting there. We met him. Thank you sir for making, thank you sir for coming. What is happening in the resection cases? Hmm. And we have a good number of Oromax official surgeons are also there. Like the patient come, you have a disability is there, you correct the disability, you are correcting the disability by putting the grafting or actually by putting a mucoskeletal tissue flaps are there or the corticocancellous grafts are there or the fibula is there or, uh, okay, uh, iliac crest and fibula, you are just recreating it. But in the end, when the patient moves out, the patient always struggle because you have given life to the patient, but his socioeconomic life, it is all already has been taken away. How it should be taken away? Because this patient, patient want to chew, patient want to smile, and in fact, actually, patient want to speak also. Actually, okay, and he doesn't do at all because there is his vital part, vital part that support the the speech, the support the uh, your. Uh, the mastication is all missing, the jawbone is all gone, and that's why you are struggling with this patient to give him a, some sort of a prosthesis, the artificial teeth, that is what is happening. So yes, but when we talk about the corticobasal implants, we have an implant that is similar just like a leg screw is there, a polished surface implant is there, we have only the cortical threads is there, and because of this, we are treating our patients as flapless as possible in a minimum time and giving the maximum results. Within two hours, within two days, or within three days, we are completing the processes. And believe me, actually, I'm just going to post you only the three cases I'm going to show you. And you are, go, you, I uh, mean, um, you will start believing what, what we people are presenting or what people have achieved it. And I'm proud to say, when we all talk about the atrophic cases, each day, each hour we redefine the definition of atrophy. It is like that, today I have operated a case, I say, oh, this case was very difficult, okay. And what is the definition between a difficult and a CZ case? Difficult cases that we struggle to do and we are not able to do, that is a difficult case. After a struggle or whatever the story was behind, when we complete the case, later on it becomes an easy case, okay. And we start seeking the other challenges. So, I'm not going to go actually in the detail, but yes, sir, uh, the importance of corticobasal implantology is we want to do in flapless. We have actually the force distribution is there at the corticals by the threads. And this, all the multiple lectures from tomorrow and day after tomorrow, you're going to hear, you're going to learn each A to Z of about the corticobasal implantology. 